Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you are new, make sure you subscribe. I'm being a good YouTuber and telling y'all to do that, okay? But as you can tell from the title, I'm finally filming my skincare routine. But this isn't just any old skincare routine. I feel like the typical morning and night skincare routines just really don't give you guys an accurate depiction of what I do to my skin on a regular basis. So I chose to do a week in my skincare routine. Basically it's about four to five days of my skincare routine so that you guys can see the different products that I use throughout the week because I don't use exactly the same things every day. Some days I exfoliate, some days I use retinols, some days I use this serum. So I figured this would be the most accurate way to really show you what I use. So before we get into it, just a quick disclaimer, I am not an esthetician, I am not a dermatologist, I have not been advised by either for any of the products that you see, um, except for one of them, which you'll see. So with that being said, if you are someone who suffers from any kind of like severe skin condition, uh, please seek professional advice. Uh, I'm just here to show you the things that I like and that I feel like make my skin look the best and feel the best. Um, but again, I am not a professional in any capacity within this space. So if you have any advice, absolutely hand it my way because again, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I just know that these things my skin seems to really like and I really like, so figured I would share with you. So with that disclaimer out of the way, also everything that you guys see in today's video will be linked down below, as well as if you click this little icon somewhere along the bottom that says view products, some of them will be right there to where you can check them out while you're watching the video, rather than like clicking a link in the description bar. So just so you know, everything is there for you. And without further ado, just keep on watching if you wanna see my week in skincare. Goodbye. Alrighty, so we're starting off with morning one. First things first, gotta pin this hair up, girl. Gotta get it out of the way. I'm starting by wetting my face with some warm water. And then I'm going in with this face wash by The Face Shop. This is their rice wash. You guys, such a great, gentle, foaming cleanser. I love using this in the morning because I don't need anything too harsh because usually my skin is already clean. So this is just perfect to just like refresh the skin, get it clean but not too harsh i'm gonna rinse this off pat dry with a towel i should really use a paper towel but we're not gonna talk about it up next i'm using my la mer treatment lotion i know it's expensive but it is the only thing from la mer that is worth it okay let me not say that because i ain't tried a whole bunch of stuff from them but this is the one thing that i will continue to buy it's kind of like a hydrating toner but like not really a toner but super duper hydrating love it love it love it um i used to use the dr dennis gross vitamin c that's what i was showing you guys but recently i literally just got the natrium one so i just started using this but to me feels and works like a vitamin c so here for it then i'm using the belief aqua balm such a hydrating moisturizer if you've never tried it you need to i love using this during the daytime it's super lightweight but so hydrating and moisturizing i love it and i also recently started using their spf because it is spf 50 i mean and it doesn't leave a white cast it's moisturizing it feels so good on the skin i absolutely love this spf it's like my new favorite and then after this, I'm just gonna simply go in with my Laneige Glowy Lip Balm, and that is my daytime skincare for day one. So, see you tonight. And boom, back with a whole face of makeup. Ain't that something? Like I said, hair up. Starting with my Garnier Fructis or Garnier Girl, whatever, whoever they are now. This micellar water. Now, let me tell y'all, the micellar water is great, right? But the star of the show is the cotton pads. If you know me, you know. These cotton pads are from Sephora and they are so worth the $6. They are absolutely amazing. They're huge. I love these cotton pads. I can't say enough good things about them. So I use this micellar water. I know it looks like I'm like ripping my skin off, but I promise I'm not. I'm taking a second one, going over the skin again, just to make sure everything is gone. And then I'm gonna go in with my cleanser for the night. I'm using the Tatcha Deep Clean, Deep Cleanse Cleanser. This is my favorite nighttime cleanser because it's just, it's still gentle, but just a little more aggressive than the face, the rice wash that I showed you before. And this one has like a little bit of these little like baby exfoliants in it. I don't know, love it. Makes my skin just feel so squeaky clean. 
So I just rinse that off. I'm going back in with my La Mer treatment lotion. You will notice that this is in every single day. So I ain't mean to pour that much. You really don't need much of it either. Up next in my routine is the one thing that has stood throughout the years, and that is my Curology. If you're unfamiliar, Curology is a custom product prescribed for you from a dermatology provider on Curology's team. I have been using my custom formulas for years, I think since 2018. If you guys are unfamiliar, I had a moment in time, I'm going to show you some photos right about now, where I just had breakout after breakout after breakout to the point where it was scarring, as you see, like on my chin and a little bit on my cheek area. And I could not get it to stop y'all like the breakouts just kept coming to the point where I was like I guess I have acne now and I tried Curology and it was the only thing that made this stuff stop and I have not removed it from my routine since because this is not gonna happen again okay uh, like I said I've been using it for years you get your own dermatology provider who listens to what your needs and concerns are for your skin and then prescribes you your own custom formula that way all of your needs are being met and it updates as you use it. So with your subscription, if your needs change, your formula will change, which is amazing. I'll have a link down below so that you guys can check out Curology, get your own dermatology provider to get your own custom formula prescribed to you to start suiting whatever it is that you need. And I mean whatever, whether it's discoloration, hyperpigmentation, scarring, active breakouts, Curology has got you covered and it's definitely worth a try. It had really improved and changed my skin and I love it. So yeah, make sure you guys check that down below and big shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. Moving on to my moisturizer. For nighttime, I love to use the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream at night. It's a little bit heavier than the Belief and it just feels so good on my skin. Doesn't clog my pores, I just love it. Then I'm going in with this Tula 24 seven power swipe. It's like a moisturizing eye balm for under the eye. And then I'm going in with this Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask. It's cute, I bought it so I use it, but it ain't nothing special, I'm not gonna lie to you. And now I'm using Latisse for my lashes. I got this Latisse in Mexico, okay? Um, I was not prescribed this, I got it in Mexico. And that's night one. See you in the morning. Oh, boom, morning. Okay, now this is a special morning, okay? I gotta get this hair off my face, girl. So I start with plucking my chin hairs, as many as I can, like the really thick, like dark ones, I like to pluck because I am gonna be shaving my face, but like I said, I like to pluck first. So then I'm going in with The Ordinary. This is just a rose hip oil, and this is the star of the show, which is my razor from Sephora. You can buy this razor, and then they sell refill blades as well. So I literally change the razor blade like every single time I shave my face, and I shave my face about once a week. So I just put the oil all over, and then I pull my skin taut, and I just go to town, baby. And I definitely cut myself. I'll show it to y'all in just a second. I cut my cheek. I know they say you shouldn't dermaplane or shave your face yourself. But baby, it, the way my skin is about to look, y'all just don't get it. Like, I'm sorry. I have to. I have a very hairy face. And it just makes it look so textured. Like, that's where I cut myself. I'm shaving my face. I'm sorry. Listen, don't tell me it's bad. I know. But I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. My skin goes crazy. So again, you know, do things at your own like risk because I definitely read that you shouldn't dermaplane your face yourself, but I've been doing it for like years and I'm gonna keep doing it. Look at all that hair, Ugh, sick. But look, you can already see just how smooth my skin looks. Headed to the bathroom now. Now it's time to cleanse, okay? I like to shave first, then cleanse because of that oil. I don't like to use that, leave that oil on my face. Going back in with my face shop rice wash. Again, this is my favorite morning cleanser. You're gonna see her a lot, pretty much every day. And it's so affordable on Amazon. Pat drying the skin, dry with my towel, showing you again that I cut myself. Like I said, the La Mer is gonna be here every time. Now today, because I shaved my face, I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha Silk Serum just to add a little bit of, of hydration, a little bit more hydration instead of the vitamin C. I really, really like this serum. This was sent to me in PR, so I've just been trying it out. Um, and I really like it so far. Uh, then finishing up with the Same Belief Aqua Balm, my girl, and the Same Belief Sunscreen. 
and this same Laneige glowy lip balm. Like, for the most part, you'll see some products definitely repeat a lot, but I still wanted to show you guys because I don't shave my face every day, but I do shave my face once a week. So I have to show you that. And look, just, I'm zooming out in because look at how smooth, look at my face. You literally, I don't know about y'all, but I can literally tell it, like, look, are you kidding? So smooth. Nighttime, I'm bare face, so luckily we don't have to use any Garnier. Tonight, no micellar water. Going straight in with my Tatcha Deep Cleanse, uh, just to get everything off the face. Like I said, I really, really, really love this cleanser. I've been using this cleanser for years. Back in with the La Mer. Like I said, there are going to be some products that you guys are going to see are extremely constant, okay, throughout the entire routine. Now I'm going to be using my Foreo. I don't remember what, I think it's called a UFO. It'll be linked down below. It's basically supposed to pulsate and vibrate and use heat and cool um, to massage and put the serum on the face, but I didn't realize mine was dead. So I needed to charge it, but I still just put the, the serum, like the mask all over my face anyways, and then just rubbed in whatever was left on the skin afterwards. But this is a great little treatment machine. I'm telling you, I love this. I do this at least once a week. And then going in with my moisturizer, my Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, same old, same old. And then again with the Tula um, under eye balm. I am going to take some Vaseline and just kind of do a little bit of a slug because I shaved my face today. So I don't know. I just like to do this on the days I shave my face. Then I'm going in with this Fenty uh, lip balm. It's cool. It is what it is. And again, my Latisse. And that's it for night two. Catch y'all in the morning. Morning three, let's get it. I'm going in with my new face. I love this thing, okay? I also have the Foreo version. I just prefer the new face just because I find that it's easier to hold, but they both work extremely well. So I'm starting with the gel that comes with the new face. You don't have to use the gel. This particular device is basically a microcurrent device and it just kind of like tightens the face and lifts the face. I like to do this at least once a week. I also usually gua sha at least twice, two to three times a week, but I broke my gua sha um, while I was in Italy, so I gotta get a new one. But yeah, so I'm just microcurrenting my face. I would 100% say that this device is worth it. I feel like you can literally watch this video and see the difference in my face, like the lift and the tightness in the areas that I'm using it. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. I think it's definitely worth the investment. And then once I'm done with my treatment, I just turn it off and wipe it off with a paper towel. Now we're gonna go in with cleanser. I like to do these things before I cleanse, again, because I don't like to leave that serum and stuff on my face. Uh, back with our Face Shop Rice Wash, per use. I mean, honestly, the rest of this morning routine is pretty, pretty on brand. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch.
Hello, night three, full face of makeup. So we really going in, okay? My cellar water for Z Win. Um, and I had a lot of eye makeup on this day too, so I really had to go in. I know it looks like I'm like murdering my face, but I promise I'm not. Today I'm gonna go in with a touch of rice polish just to give a little bit of an exfoliation to the skin, okay? Especially after all of that makeup. So this is definitely like an exfoliant, but like not too heavy. Very gentle, very nice. Love her, love her life. And again, worth the money. Tatcha, in my opinion, is definitely worth the price. Back in with our La Mer treatment lotion, per usual. And now I'm using Tretinoin. Again, I got this in Mexico, okay? But you can get this prescribed to you from your dermatologist or, you know, anybody. Uh, but this is like a retinol. It's going to literally peel my face off, so... Then I'm going in with my Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, but I'm mixing this with my Tan Lux uh, Skin Drops, like face drops. This is basically self-tanner for your face. Do not put more than two drops and do not put them on by themselves. You have to mix them in with your moisturizer and watch in the morning. Look at how tan I'm going to look because y'all know my face be so pale. It never tans. So I love to mix this in and I only do it at nighttime because I hate the way this stuff smells. So I have to do it at night and then that way I can like rinse it off in the morning it literally smells like self tanner so morning four. Oh, i look rough hey girl what is going on going back in with my new face device putting our gel all over and popping that bad boy on i had a rough night that night i guess girl because i look crazy but anyways okay it's, it's gonna get back together Going in with our Tatcha Deep Cleanse. I guess I felt like I really needed to wash my face this morning. Yeah, I don't know what happened the night before, y'all. Please don't ask me. So you see I'm going in with a deeper cleanser. And then I'm going in with a Dr. Dennis Gross Daily Peels. Uh, I like to use these at least two to three times a week as well. Um, and you just, it's like a two-step peel. So you do the first one, the first pack, and you just rub the cloth on your face until it's dry. And then let that sit on your skin for two minutes. And then you go in with step two, the second cloth, and do the same thing and wait two more minutes and then follow up with, uh, they recommend Dr. Dennis Gross's vitamin C, but any vitamin C and then your normal routine. I went in with a little bit of the La Mer treatment lotion first, then went in with my natrium vitamin C and finished off with my usual belief um, moisturizer and sunscreen. Heading into night four, we've got a light beat going on. So we're taking the micellar water per usual. I'm letting it soak on my eye a little bit because I have mascara on. So y'all know mascara take a little minute to get off. Then I just decided, you know what? You know I had to double it. So then I, I just all in. <laughs> and then got the rest of my makeup off and then went in with my normal night routine that we have discussed. So the Tatcha Deep Cleanser, getting all that gunk out of my skin. And then following up with the La Mer treatment lotion per usual. Also, make sure you're washing your face for 60 seconds minimum, okay? Okay. After my La Mer, I'm going back in with my Curology. Again, I try to use this two to three times a week. I need a new bottle, god dog. It's because I be using more than one pump. You're only supposed to use one pump and I'll be putting like two to three because I'm crazy. Then I'm going in with my Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. And the tan lux, babes. Gotta keep, gotta keep the skin, the face on the skin tan, okay? Okay. The Fenty little lip balm and then my Tula. And that's it for the night. I'll catch y'all in the morning. Last morning with you guys. Going with, through with our normal routine using the Face Shop face wash. Then I'm going back in with my La Mer treatment lotion, normal stuff. 
Then I'm using the Tatcha Silk Serum this morning. It's just all about how I'm feeling. And I felt like that's what I wanted to use today. Then I went in with the Belief Aqua Balm. Following up with the Belief sunscreen and then today I wanted to put these topicals faded under eye patches on these really work you guys they de-puff your eyes I mean they are absolutely amazing trust me okay trust me they're so good and that's my skincare all right you guys so that is it for my skincare routine or week in my skincare routine whatever we're calling this um so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you use any of these products of course let me know if you have any recommendations on products of course let me know um and yeah i really hope you guys like this video i worked very hard on it so with that being said thank you again for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next youtube video